Hey guys, I found this table behind me on Facebook Marketplace. It was actually free um, and it's solid oak. It's really nice. I had to do some, a lot of cleaning, sanding and um, some repair on the legs, but it was totally worth it because it's a nice solid oak um, table. So today I am going to paint and glaze or show you how I paint and glaze this table and um, I'm going to take you through the whole process so stay tuned. I ended up using a quarter inch nap roller and the zebra square brush. I am using a deep blue called Midnight and it's by Paint Couture. It goes on bright, but it's gonna dry to a deep navy. On large surfaces like this, I like to use a quarter inch nap roller because it covers a large surface quickly and the quarter inch nap puts the paint on smoothly. Okay, let's get started with the glazing. Um, I like to use these rubber spatulas like you would find in the kitchen section to um, use with the glaze. They're really handy. Just a little tip. Um, but also for this large surface, I'm using this large four inch chip brush to apply the glaze. You will want your brush well saturated with glaze, but you don't want it to be too drippy. I like to lay my brush kind of flat and you'll want to try your best to apply the glaze evenly. The great thing about Paint Couture Glaze is it has a long open time, which means that you can work and manipulate the glaze before it starts to tack up. Um, you do want to work on a large surface in sections though, like I am doing here. You'll want to work on one side of the table and then move to the other side. Um, but just, you can see I'm trying to apply the glaze very evenly and I'm being somewhat slow and methodical. And I will go back and forth to even out the amount of glaze in that particular area. You just continue this process all the way across the table. Next up, we are going to remove the glaze. I like to use these glazing pads and I lightly mist them on each side with water. You don't want them very wet at all. You just want them very, just like a little damp. So I'm going to use the glazing pads to remove my glaze. I just lay the pad down and I try to pull in an even direction and pressure. I will go back and pull off more glaze as needed because this glaze is still workable and I'm able to pull off as much or as little as I like. I keep flipping the sides so that I can use the side that is less saturated with glaze. You will want to have several of these glazing pads available so that you can keep switching them out once they become too saturated but I also dab a little here just to kind of even out the glaze I don't want a very stripy um, effect so I am just doing that to make sure that they're a little more subtle and blended and I'm just going back and smoothing it out after I do that you have always been so sure. I know you 
just really continue this process across the whole table looking at it from different angles and different directions so that you can see how your glaze is looking. You do want to have really good light while you're doing this so that you can see where the glaze is maybe too heavy um, and then you can go back and remove it. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe for more bold and colorful DIY.